Hi all, I'm Prasan Thakre. Welcome in the AWS Solution Architect Certification Exam Dump. So today uh, I'm with a new question related to that processing or analyzing the streaming data and how we can do the massive scaling and it is related to that uh, IoT kind of a scenario and this question uh, has been come multiple times in the associate exam. So let's jump on the question. So question says that a manufacturing company captures data from machine running at the customer side. So basically, uh, there are a the lot of machines which are running at the endpoint, and that is the customer sites. Currently, thousands of machines send data every five minutes. So in five minutes, if uh, 1,000 uh, devices or machines are sending data, it's not the messy data, but uh, it's okay. In the next nine, they have mentioned like that, and this is expected to grow to 100 of 1,000 of machines. It means it is trying to say like that, we need to scale um we need to scale for that hundred of thousand machines and uh, in the future the data will be uh, very high so we need to deal with the massive data the data is logged with the in intent to be analyzed in the future as needed so this is the hint that uh, whatever the data is coming we are just going to store it we need to just log the data and later on we need to analyze it so it means that uh, streaming time we no need to analyze this incoming data we just need to store it and later on we can analyze that data so this is the enough end to uh, find out the correct answer now it is trying to say like that what is the simplest method to store the streaming data at scale so yes scale is required because it is saying that in the future it could be hundred of thousand of machines will be there so let's visualize this question by having a diagrammatic view. So these are the machines uh, and right now there are some finite machines which is mentioned like thousand of machines and we are having that arrow mass that it will it will increase hundred of thousand in the future and uh, we are having the AWS in the inside the VPC we are getting the message and persisting it. Persisting in the sense like we are saving in some location and, and we are analyzing it later on. So there is a one thing like uh, the machine data is uh, always uh, heterogeneous data and it is unstructured. So we should not think about uh, saving into the database. It is unstructured so we can save it into the S3 location or Redshift or we can go with the NoSQL concept. But we cannot go with the RDB kind of concept. So let's jump on the question. Question says, sorry, uh, let's jump on the answer. So options, so option is one first option is that create an Amazon Kinesis Firehouse delivery stream to store the data in Amazon S3. So here S3 is matching our criteria because it is on S3 data, we can directly save to the S3. And uh, yes, Amazon Kinesis uh, Firehouse is uh, meant for it. Uh, so this could be correct answer, but let's jump on the option B. Create an auto scaling group of Amazon SC2 server behind the ELB to write the data in Amazon RDS. So this is incorrect answer because we cannot save into the RDS. It is unstructured data. Option C. Create an Amazon SQS and have the machines write to the queue. So here it is trying to say like that using the SQS and uh, have the machines write to the queue. So basically, it is not talking about lambda kind of concepts. So it will become very expensive and it, was, it will not be a simplest way. And you cannot uh, scale like uh, Kinesis Firehouse. So this is not the correct answer. So I will mark it as wrong. And it is very expensive. Create an Amazon EC2 server form behind an ELB to store the data in Amazon ABS Cloud SDT volume. Yes, you can save the data in uh, cold SDT volume, but already you are having the S3 location which is very cheap and uh, it is the easiest way to uh, save the data into the S3. And involving the lot of EC2 servers is very expensive. So make sure that you are not choosing any kind of option which is uh, quite expensive and not matching to the criteria. So I have marked like these three are the wrong answer and the correct answer is Kinesis uh, Firehouse. So we'll read more about uh, Kinesis Firehouse in the next slide. So this is the uh, proper use case that you are having multiple devices here in the end and in the client side which is directly sending the data and there is a Amazon Kinesis data firehouse where it will uh, it will uh, interact with the data continuously and it will 
save the data into the uh, S3 location, Redshift, Elastic Service, Splunk. So these are the four services is provided by the AWS where data can be directly saved. And after that, the output can be analyzed uh, by using the analytics tool. So this is exactly fitting this criteria that we are getting the message and we are persisting into the S3 location and later on we are analyzing. So Firehouse is the correct answer here. And there is a few more details about that uh, when we should use the Kinesis data stream, when we should use the Kinesis Firehouse. So here the use case is like that if you want to do the real time analysis on the streaming data, then can it, then Kinesis data stream is very good. But if you want to save the data and after that you want to analyze it, then you should go for the Firehouse. So this is the simple uh, use case and it clarifies that when to use which one. Apart from that, there is a few things like uh, both have managed services, but uh, in the Kinesis data stream, you need to do a lot of configuration, but uh, Kinesis Firehouse, it is fully managed and there is uh, nothing to do with the administration work or configuration details. So this is very easy to use it. It automatically scale Kinesis Firehouse where it is uh, based on that uh, requirement you need to do that uh, scaling. And data can be there for one to seven days in the data stream which you can analyze during the streaming data while you are already saving the data into the S3 so anytime you can uh, analyze that data. And uh, this is the question and answer like uh, what is the Kinesis Data Firehouse uh, and uh, uh, apart from that, like uh, what is the AWS providing the services to managing the data firehouse so that there is no need to spend more time for managing the managing or doing more configuration for the data firehouse. So this is that that's all from my side. Thanks. Thanks all.